everyone that joined us. I <laughs> said that kind of weird. I am Super Fizz from the ETH Staker community, and I'm really glad that uh, we've had such a great turnout for this Road to DevCon painting party. Uh, I'm joined with a bunch of people, but I know that the painters want to get started. And so um, what I can sh shoot out to you really quick is that if you want to claim the POAP to begin participating with the Canvas, you're going to message the POAP bot that is uh, on Discord, capital P, capital O, capital A, capital P, dash B-O-T, pound 0094. And you're going to send that, POAP, that bot the word Columbia, C-O-L-O-M-B-I-A. Um, the bot will respond with a link and you'll be able to use that link to claim your POAP, which will give you access to the canvas. Uh, and we wanted to get that out of the way very first so that you can get started. If you have any trouble with that, um, in just a few minutes, we're going to turn things over to Logic Beach um, and he's going to demo things. Actually, did we just decide that he wants to lay the center pixel first? Yeah. Okay. Let, let me turn it over right now to Logic Beach because everyone's here to paint and then we can get into business as soon as that's rocking and rolling. All right. Hey guys, I'm Logic Beach. I've been helping uh, coordinate some of these guilds. I'm going to show you just the basics of the canvas. Man, I should have had this pulled up already. There we go. <laughs> Uh-oh, some lines. <laughs> All right, so um, once you get your POAP, once you claim it, you will connect your wallet. It will find your POAP. It, it is now seen that I have the POAP, and so I'll sign a transaction to join or to sign in. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, I'm going to place this red dot right in the center of Deva's face here between her eyes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the center pixel real quick. Uh, two, I want 256 by 128. Nice, okay. So hopefully we'll get the color red right. I should have probably had the color lined up. Oh, no. <laughs> right there, okay. It is placed. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so there's a green one there. Uh, so what I just did is I placed that one. I'm now going to place this one two over and this one two over to the left. Uh, someone's <laughs> trolling a little bit. Okay, no, someone's got the picture. We got it going. Okay, as you can see, people are starting to see the picture of Deva and getting it going. Cool. Um, another thing to note is that you can easily change colors on the fly by right clicking them and matching color like that okay it looks like someone placed a well you can't do that with white apparently i've tried that earlier so you actually have to select white to place white pixels all right so deva is started but it looks like it's maybe misaligned one second one second we're gonna get this that one there that one there all right, so what you're looking at right, wait a minute, what's going on here? One, uh, there is a cooldown of one second, just so you know, you can't just keep placing. So what you're seeing right here is just this area of Deva. I wanted to mention that anyone that helps uh, create the Deva centerpiece will get the Friends of Deva POAP. Um, there will be a raffle down the road for that. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you anybody that can work on Deva. Uh, aside from that, once all of the, um, guilds have like their pictures made if you guys are freed up and you want to help anybody jump over to landscape guild they can use as many people as they can handle they're going to create like a cool wash and background of um just any free space it's going to be a good time yep that's, that's about awesome. it for me i think thank you so much logic beach um i Certainly. would like to point out for the record that superfizz.eth did place a blue pixel and i need that oh wow. um sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so welcome and we wanted to get that out of the way first. We're going to go back and talk a lot more about the Canvas today. Um, but this is kind of a, an overarching event in the Road to DevCon. It is our painting party. Um, and we have a lot of guests here, both from um, DevCon and from POAP and from ETHSTAKER. So really quick, I want to shout out the ETHSTAKER team. Uh, and then I'm going to turn it over to Skylar. And he's going to shout out his team. And then we'll have a little bit of conversation. I am super fizz. I um, I'm a dude who hangs out in ETH Staker and um, tries to positively engage the community. Um, we think of ETH Staker as welcoming first and knowledgeable second, and uh, we're, we always look forward to people joining us. Um, Patricio Werthalter. Hello. Patricio is a core member of ETH Staker, and he also uh, is the man behind POAP, so he wears a lot of hats. 
Um, sometimes we're not sure how he keeps going. Um, we also are joined by our friend Colfax. Hey guys. On Vetica.eth. Hello, hello. Uh, and I should say Colfax did a lot of the organization from the ETH staker side. Um, on Vetica uh, is running our, uh, our systems right now. So thanks to those guys. Um, and our master organizer is Gray Wizard. Hello, everybody. Um, and our dude who knows everything that none of us else know is Lamboshi, also known as Nolan. Hello. Uh, we also have a bunch of other guests. Just uh, so Jeremiah is here from East Staker. Um, I Logic Beach is a special guest today. We're glad to have. Uh, I see Mono Mesa, um, a bunch of POAP staff. Mario Conti is here. Glad to have you. Um, and uh, DeFi dude, we're very hey. glad to have you as well. Uh, and Skylar, I'd like to give you a chance to um, do your intros and then we'll rock on. Right on, right on. Thanks, thanks, Superfizz. Um, so, yeah, I'm Skylar. I'm, uh, you might have seen me in the Discord there a little bit. Um, stoked to be here. Glad everyone uh, is joining us on our first quest event of the Road to DevCon, but technically our second quest. Um, and yeah, we have a couple other team members from the DevCon team here as well. Uh, we've got Akil, who's helping us out with some UX design on our website. If you guys have seen that late, recently updated, uh, he's he's uh, been a big part of that. Franzi, who's helping us out with our community involvement efforts on DevCon. Uh, we have Tomo in here, who is helping us out with a lot of our graphics and, uh, and branding design. And Liggy, who assists us with everything related to anything technical. <laughs> Uh, and I think I think that's about all we have from the team here on this call. We have a, quite a few other team members on the DevCon team who didn't make it here, uh, as it's kind of late in their time zone. But uh, nonetheless, we're here, we're happy to be here. We're stoked to be painting pixels with you guys all. And uh, uh, and yeah, I guess I mean Superfizz. Uh, anything else you want to cover? You are on mute. <laughs> oh, it's 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 funny. I have a, a standard mute reaction that only Michael knows, which is to flail my arms. But um, Patricio, would you like to uh, tell us just a little bit about Poap Art and the team that you have joining us today? Yeah, sure. Um, so although we are doing this for having fun, um, the reason why we invented Poap Art is because we wanted to showcase that by using decentralized technologies uh, powered by Ethereum, um, you can do things that you couldn't do with any other tech. Um, because this idea that you have a collaborative canvas that m multiple parties can join that doesn't require to sign up, doesn't require you disclosing any personal identifier of information, it only requires a non fungible token that you could capture on elsewhere. It, it's a novel mechanic, and, and on our mission on putting Ethereum on the hands of the mainstream, this is a nice way to showcase that Ethereum is not all about DeFi, it's not only about financial applications. There are there are many non-financial applications that are enabled by Ethereum that, that are uh, a leap ahead for humanity. So we call this an experiment at the intersection of art and tech. Um, this is the, the second pop art canvas we run. It's been an effort of more than 20 people, uh, many of them at this call. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, hopefully, we keep getting better and better every time. And, and now I'm, I'm going to focus on my painting. Bye-bye. Thanks, Patricio. Uh, one of the things we realize is the POEP art team, uh, so for while this is fun for all of us, they are all intensely monitoring the platform to make sure that our fun goes off without a hitch. Um, and with that in mind, I want to say if something if something goes berserk, don't worry. Um, it's This is a learning experience for everyone, um, and we're all going to be fine and have fun. Um, and so, Skyler, it's Let's it's go. funny. Um, <laughs> we've been planning this this for probably a couple of weeks, um, and I was like, "Wait, I don't want to get to know Skyler. Let's wait until the call, and then we'll be like, it'll be like we're meeting each other for the first time." So, um, how's it going? <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. So, um, I'm curious what what is your role with uh, DevCon? Yeah, right on. Um, so I am technically, I guess, the DevCon operations lead. So helping to sort of make and oversee the team at large for this upcoming DevCon. Um, 
I've been involved with DevCon now for, for the past few years since DevCon 3. Um, super passionate about it. For those who haven't attended or maybe even don't even know what DevCon is, um, DevCon is the annual Ethereum Developers Conference. Um, it's it's really like, uh, for those who are in the community already, it's like a global family reunion. Everyone comes together, has a lot of fun, learns a lot, collaborates a lot. For those who are new to the community, it's like an intense introduction into what what uh, what the what Ethereum is about from so many different angles. So it, it is technically we call it the Developers Conference, but it's really um, it's really for a lot more than that. It, we do try to keep it fairly technical from a talk perspective and um, and from perspectives like that. But really, the whole community comes whether you're a developer, designer, researcher, project manager, whatever. Um, it's a really really good time. That's awesome. Um, and so I've been involved with Ethereum, uh, well, the beginning for me. So since the crowd sale, since the white paper, since uh, you know the Olympic test net, and I've never been to a DEF CON. And so um, I've always felt so intimidated. Uh, and one of the things that I'm hoping about this kind of event is that we can lower that, that intimidation bar and so allow more people to feel like it's accessible to them. Um, do you think that's that's gonna happen? Yeah, absolutely. So I think I think um, it is fair. I think it could be a little intimidating from, from hearing about it at first and hearing that it is the developers conference. But one thing we do try to do and are trying to do for this upcoming iteration is make it uh, recognize that the people that people come with all backgrounds. So some people are completely new to DevCon. Some people are completely new to the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, so making sure that we have appropriate content for um, for backgrounds of all types, while still recognizing that a lot of like brilliant, intelligent researchers are there trying to discuss the latest and greatest of uh, of who knows what. Um, we still need to have these very technical topics, but also welcoming. Uh, those who are who are fresh to the community and and DevCon was actually my first introduction. DevCon three was my first introduction to uh, Ethereum. I'd known about it before, uh, learned about it, been sort of on the on the peripherals, um, and arriving at DevCon and attending some of these talks and just hearing the like being around so many crazy intelligent researchers, developers talking about things that are. Uh, uh, well, like they weren't just talking about the price of Ether, they were talking about uh, how we can solve problems that the world is facing right now using Ethereum and what kind of technological things we need to we need to improve. And while some of the talks were over my head, it was kind of what made me commit to the community and, and made me realize that the people working on this this stuff are, are some of the smartest in the world right now. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. Like, I, I like to imagine I know a lot of this stuff. I imagine that I know a lot of it. Um, and then I hear Donkrad talking about Kate commitments and I'm like, explain it to me one more time. And I'm like, I still have no idea what's going on. So yeah, it, I, I think, you know, the important thing is that Ethereum hits so many levels for so many different people. Um, and we just need to recognize that as mere mortals, we're not going to get everything, but there's still a lot to be gained from participating. Um, and so to zoom out on the big picture, we're here today on the road to DevCon. Why aren't we buying tickets for DevCon? <laughs> it's a great question. I think a lot of you probably have a hint um, as to why not. But uh, but yeah, so right now DevCon is unfortunately indefinitely postponed. Um, so it's usually, usually takes place in the fall. We had postponed it last year once, postponed it again this year. Um, and we while, while we are staying optimistic that uh, and while we're staying optimistic that things are improving and things are improving around the world. Uh, I don't know how many of us here have had their vaccinations, but that wasn't possible just, just a, a month, few months ago, probably. Um, and so things are getting better. We're staying optimistic that we can have DevCon soon, although timelines are still pretty indefinite. Um, so in the meantime, we launched the road to DevCon efforts. So we want to keep the community engaged, uh, learning uh, and collaborating. Uh, and so with Road to DevCon, we have also introduced the concept of quests, this being one of the first quest events that we've had, um, where we kind of come together, um, experiment with some web free technology, talk about things related to DevCon, also hopefully expose a little bit more about the Eastaker community uh, and some other communities in, in future quests, perhaps that are, are also um, important in the Ethereum community and, and good, uh, good representations of what we're about. Um, 
And so, so yeah, this is a quest on the road to DevCon. We also take uh, and accept community ideas for quests. So if you're if you're sitting there thinking about um, something something that we could perhaps do collaboratively with the group that you're a part of in the community, reach out to us and uh, let's chat about it. Great. So, and I have to say, um, from the ETH staker perspective, I am elated to be engaged with the DevCon crew um, and with the POAP crew. This this synergy of three different communities working together to do one neat social project um, is it's exciting. I don't think you see that in a lot of different uh, different worlds. You know, everyone keeps to their own little group. Uh, so this is a, a neat experience, uh, and I'm I'm really glad to be here. Um, so we're going to switch gears just a tiny bit. Um, you know why we're here. We're here, the road to DevCon. We're learning about what's coming up with DevCon. Uh, and I imagine there are a lot of people who are busy dropping pixels, like whoever J-T-N-I-C-H-O-L is. Um, and so- That's not, hey, is, listen, man. Nobody, I, I can't even get my paint tools up, so I don't even know who drew that. Yeah, it's, it's somebody <laughs> that loves you, man. Um, that's too I'd sweet. like to to hand off to Patricio and Logic Beach and Colfax um, as they kind of take us through our next steps. Sweet. Hey, guys. Uh, nice to see you. I'm Colfax here, as Superfist said, a member of the East Acre community. Uh, Patricia did a quick little intro of poop.art and sort of what we're going to be doing here on the party. And many of you are familiar with poop.art or poop already, but if you're not, I'm gonna actually show you right now how to claim your PO app and how you can go ahead and get started participating in the drawing. So I'm gonna share my screen here real quick. All right, so here I am on Discord. So the way you're gonna claim the PO app is join the road to devcon discord server which is this one that i'm looking at right here a second to load and right here you're going to look for the poap bot v2 there's the poap bot on this discord server as well as other discord servers uh message the poet bot on this discord server so you're going to look for the poet bot here and then right click it and click message and now i'm going to send the message the secret word which is columbia c-o-l-o-m-b-i-a and it is going to send back a link and you click that link It's great to see that's working live because um, I know there was some chatter about people having not sure if what was what to do, but it's great to see that it works live. Yeah, it's great to see it. There, a lot of people are claiming POAPs right now, so it could be a little slow to load. So just be patient with it. You can see this is loading here. And when this comes up, it's going to ask for an Ethereum address or you can use your ENS and you're going to click claim <clears throat> and then your POAP is going to show up in your collection. Uh, so we've heard uh, many reports of people experiencing delays, uh, but at the same time we see, oh, you got it. There we go. Okay. It, it took a oh, while. Uh, so, so we got many reports of things not working well, um, but at the same time, 11,000 pixels have been placed. So, so it might be a slow for some. Um, we just request you to bear with us and, and be mindful that this is an experiment and, and we don't have everything sorted. Um, some stats, uh, there's 250 people online in the canvas. Um, there's 200 on YouTube. Um, is there a leaderboard for number of pixels? Um, there should be, yeah. All the bottom. Yes, at the, top, if right? you scroll below the canvas itself, you can see the leaderboard. I don't want to scroll because I actually 
I want to be on top, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to waste precious seconds. Well, there are people Make sure printing you spell with bots. correctly, Mariano. Un saludo okay. para la pandilla. Perdón, tenía que hacer. They are bombing us. They are bombing cool. us. Looks like my POAP has arrived. So let's click check badges. I'm so very glad to hear. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, um, it's nice that you've shown, shown a screen that you just have to be patient. Yep. Hey, and there we go. The Painting Party Viewer POAP Quest 2. So now this is in my collection. And you can look at the rest of my beautiful collection if you'd like. It's improving <laughs> over time. Patricia always gives me a hard time that my POAP collection isn't big enough, so I'm working hard. <laughs> so, so now you connect wallet on, on the other tab. So now road to DevCon 6, you can see the URL here. I'm just going to reload the page. <clears throat> Looks like I have the leaderboard open. This is great. So I'm going to click connect wallet. It's going to open up MetaMask. And so you're going to want to use an address that you have connected with MetaMask. And then I'm going to connect here. Cold Could someone study. explain what is that 420 number that you're paying on our canvases? Do they mean something maybe? Are you serious or are you kidding? What do you, you think? You might be kidding. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's not world known. I don't know. And then guys, after you connect your wallet, you're going to click sign and participate here. And it's going to open up a transaction. Don't worry, you're not sending any ether to anybody or anything like that. You're just signing the canvas with the address from your POAP. And you click sign here. And then I should be able to drop a pixel here soon. There we go. So let's scroll in. OK, so this is Dev. I want to help with this because I want to get the POAP. It looks like this should be a blue pixel. So let me see if I can. Uh, I'll do what Logic Beach taught me. I will grab that color and I'm going to drop this pixel right here. And you guys can see, there we go. Well done. <laughs> so that is how you do it, guys. Um, the links should be all over the chats for both the Discord server to join, uh, to be able to chat the POAP bot, the Road to DevCon Discord server, as well as the Canvas. And if you guys have any questions or are having any trouble, I just say, be patient if something's being slow. It'll come through just as you saw on my screen. And have fun painting. Someone awesome, has messed up you. with your blue dot. Oh, no. I'm going to have to redraw it now. I want to make sure I have a final pixel on there so I can uh, get that pull up. So how long this lasts? So this We're canvas hour, is right? going to be open, yeah, I think for the next hour or so for the duration of the call. And then we'll close it up well, uh, just before the end. Really, that's 37 minutes, uh, unless we decide to, but yeah. Um, um, I think we would likely do an extension of maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I love I love the bankles. <laughs> Bankless couldn't get their other S. It became bankles. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what is um, the nifty balloon eating? <laughs> it's in crayons. Yes, <laughs> it's very nice. So, just as an overview, um, we're going to hang out just a few minutes and just enjoy the canvas and hopefully all get our um, our graffiti on it, and then we will hop into some chats about uh, DevCon. So, um, we'll probably start that in about five or six minutes. Mono Misa, who are you here with? Are you are you are you for uh, are you doing Bright ID uh, a logo? Oh, I see. Yeah, it. I I'm working on the Bright ID logo now, right now. I already help a little bit with the Deva, but yeah, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to have everything put into the Deva one with the Colombian flag, of course. Of course. So um, <laughs> something I think nobody mentioned: um, everyone that places a pixel will have increased chances of getting a builder ticket for DevCon. So if you are watching and you didn't feel or you felt like, meh, I won't bother, 
maybe you do bother and, and place at least one pixel because a single pixel will give you another pop-up and that pop-up it might be useful for something in the future so so don't sleep on it nice and also placing pixels is fun um it has some sort of hypnotizing sounds and you pick 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 so, so <laughs> the, don't miss your chance of placing a pixel I definitely second so, that. Yeah. So as some of you guys might have seen in the announcement, we're going to have a raffle later in the event, which we'll talk about a little bit more. And among the prizes are some builder discount uh, DevCon tickets. So yeah, stay tuned for more information later in the call. So claim your POAPs, guys. I also want to mention that uh, there is going to be a time lapse created of this canvas as it's created. And I'm trying something a little weird that I talked to some friends about, but I'm going to see if I can animate my little cube guy with his eyes moving around. I don't know. My, 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 just keep that in mind when you're thinking about drawing things that this will be uh, like an animated time lapse in the end. That might it's easy to, to dream big when you're setting them up and then you get to the canvas and you're like, oh, I got to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving his eyes right now, one, one frame at a time. <laughs> do you know what we should do? We should engage DeFi Dude while he's uh, he's feverishly drawing and defending reality cards. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sorry guys, I'm very distracted here. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so yeah, Deva looks great. Uh, I And again, again, you know, Logic Beach I was has been working really hard to um, to help kind of put this canvas together and one of the ultimate goals was that we hope that it that the canvas ended up as a reflection of DevCon in some way. Um, and I, I find that to be not only an awesome implementation of the design, but uh, that it's it's coming together. That's that's really impressive. Um, Debcon has a red carpet, uh, so if we manage to build something nice, maybe this becomes a background of the photo place. Yeah, maybe we end up broadcasting this somewhere in the venue, so your work can be. Uh shown at the DevCon. Maybe there, we'll have to see what the actual infrastructure allows. Yeah, I, I heard about some surprises about DevCon. Um, when are we hearing them? Surprises about DevCon? Um, what do you mean the surprise? Something about Alpha the idea week. of the uh, venue being open longer hours? Ah, OK. So um, there are some rumors out there. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we'll come out. <laughs> we'll come out with more, more, more official stuff later on. But yeah, one of the things we're planning on doing this year at DevCon is keeping the venue open much later, uh, accompanying that with some other efforts that we're working on uh, to get more community involvement, which we'll announce more formally later on. But uh, we are excited about 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 being able to keep the venue open quite a bit longer than we have in years past, which has been, I think, five or so p.m. Um, so I'm not going to spoil the the entire announcement there, but. Do be prepared when we do announce DevCon, and, and DevCon will happen, that we will have quite a bit of uh, new improvements this year. So I'm, I'm thinking of finding someone doing a Solidity logo, uh, but it's very subtle. It, it's on the left of Diva, and, and it, it's shades of gray, and, and that can only be Solidity. Is someone else saying it, it? It definitely looks like Solidity. <laughs> I can confirm as a member of the Solidity team. But uh, <laughs> it's a bit uh, compressed right now. And I can also uh, confirm that I am not working on it. I can't but believe the, the it. Colors, the colors definitely resonate. <laughs> uh, I will have the money that it was yours or someone from your team. No, I, I'm actually working on the orange part of Eva um, <laughs> on the nose. But uh, that looks really like the Solidity logo. Nice shout out to whoever is working on this. Uh, so something else to note, um, La Pandilla, who are the Argentinian guys, have been extremely respectful of Logic Beach uh, Cube on the lower left corner. And instead of, of overriding them, they are just painting around. Yeah, La, La Pandilla. <laughs> I, I reached out to them and said, hey, hey, <laughs> it's, I'll, I'll make a detour. It's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah. We moved the ID logo because of that. And we, went, <laughs> we didn't want to fight with them. <laughs> that, that's been smart. <laughs> so um, 29,000 pixels have been placed so far by 300 people. 
Skylar, is now a good time if you want to introduce um, some of the um, some of the speakers who have who are going to share with us more about DevCon. Yeah, yeah, for sure, absolutely. So, so one of the things we wanted to also do as part of this quest is talk a little bit about some of the upcoming um, upcoming things we have for DevCon, some of the things we've been working on in the in the extra time that we've had. Uh, and so, I mean, one of the main things that we've been trying to do with DevCon is to make it more of a community, a community planned event, community, gather a lot more involvement from our community here. Like it is an event for our community. It is not a for-profit event. We're not trying to make money off this event. We're doing this for the benefit of all of you. Uh, and so for that, we want to get your guys' input. We, uh, we, the DevCon team can't, don't know everything about what you guys want to see there. And I think it becomes a lot more fun, sort of like this community, um, community uh, art canvas that we're all contributing to if DevCon can be a place where everyone contributes. Um, so to chat a little bit more about that, I'm gonna pass it off to Liggy uh, and then Franzi to go a little bit about uh, the DIP processes and RFPs that we've created. You guys there? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Test one, two, three. Yep, we got you. Wonderful. And can you see the screen? Um, yeah, basically, we uh, decentralization is not only about code. Basically, it's I think also for important for DevCon as an event from the EF. Um, and for that, we created some things. Like one thing you see there is now we have a GitHub organization where you can can contribute to our web website, to tools we use, for example, for the payment, uh, for the archive. And for, for the DIPs, the IPs are a little bit like the um, EIPs from Ethereum or PIPs from Python. Um, so you can basically contribute your ideas. And you see some that we have here. So they you contribute them on GitHub or um, by the forum. Um, and then they will en end up here. So the first one is like the EIP uh, zero, um, just describing the process. One uh, I'm really excited about is um, making DEF CON carbon neutral. Um, basically, we work together with CO token. They submitted this DIP. And um, this way, we try to make um, be responsible, like POS uh, is coming. So we try with Ethereum to be a bit more on the ecological side and uh, alongside the other advant uh, advantages of uh, proof of stake. Um, you see, um, it has the status accepted. There are also some that unfortunately they didn't make it. Um, with audios, it was a problem, unfortunately, um, with the licenses uh, there. Um, so, um, yeah, we have a flight and hotel booking um, from Winding Tree, basically. So, in the process of buying a ticket, that you can use a um, decentralized system to book your. Um, Flights on the hotel. We have the treasure hunt game. Really excited about that. Played already uh, some treasure hunts from uh, from them. They used the THC, the treasure hunt uh, generator, and uh, it's uh, beautiful treasure hunts. Also uh, decentralized um, with zero knowledge proofs. Very exciting. Key cards. So people might get a key card. Everyone um, for DevCon basically a hardware wallet. It's a project from Status, um, and we will also use these. It's also like building blocks, basically, so um, that you can build up um, on top of these uh, things. So if you want to um, submit a DIP, um, for example, using the DIP5, the key card, so you want to use a key card, that's your option there. Um, yeah, we have attestation-based ticketing for um, proof of attendance, yeah, protocol basics. Um, crypto onboarding escape room, it's a different, also a game, basically, yeah different stuff. Um, if you don't want to submit your um, DIP via GitHub, we would encourage that, but not everyone is technical. So, and we also want to cater for those people because they're also important. We have the forum, so you can just put ideas there and then we can work with you to uh, manifest it into a DIP um, or other stuff that you have. Like we want to get, get more, get more bottom up. You know that it's not just an event put out by the Ethereum Foundation. It's basically a first step to decentralize the whole thing and um, get more community involvement and just make it a much better experience. Um, yeah, with that, I will hand it over to Frenzy, which uh, has some more information about it. 
Yes, amazing. Thank you, Ligi. Um, so uh, how we already saw just now in the screen share, we have this forum forum.defcon.org. Um, if you did not visit it yet, please um, please visit it and have a look because there's basically two ways how you can now get involved in um, contributing to DEFCON. The one way is you just visit the forum, you look at the discussion topics that are going on right now and you um, you contribute either by sharing your opinion or maybe sharing an idea that you always wanted to see at DEFCON. So you can do that without any, any further ado. You can just share it and drop it in the forum and see what the response will be. That's the one way how you can uh, get feedback and how you can get involved into contributing possibly to the next DEFCON. And the other way, maybe if you need some more inspiration, is that you can have a look at the RFPs. RFPs are requests for proposals. Um, so basically, they are requests from the DEFCON team um, that ask uh, you guys um, that we need specific help with or where we think that that would be a nice addition um, to share. So basically, um, you could go to the DEFCON.org, uh, uh, forum.defcon.org forum and there click on the RFP category and then you see all the requests uh, for proposals that we have. Um, and I want to highlight two of them. I mean, we have uh, a lot of RFPs there already. And please do make sure to monitor the RFP category in the forum uh, also in future, because actually um, there will be many initiatives how the community can get involved much more hands on than in uh, other DEF cons before. And uh, they, I'm unable to share them with you right now, which is a shame, but uh, I will soon be able to share them and e there will be more RFPs coming up in future. So please make sure to monitor the RFP category if you are an interest group or community that wants to get involved uh, in DEFCON. But um, for now, I want to highlight two RFPs uh, already. Uh, one RFP is RFP number three. A game for attendees where uh, you can just check it out if you like but I'm just gonna go through it very quickly it's an RFP which covers the idea that uh, it would be nice to have a game that the attendees of DEFCON could play throughout the entire um, DEFCON event basically uh, maybe you've been to other conferences before where uh, games uh, were there offered that you can play throughout the whole um, DEFCON or I remember just in DEFCON Osaka we had games um, organized by the community that were amazing like uh, scavenger hunts throughout the venue and so on so this is basically the category for those kind of games um, and if you are interested in this please check out the game for attendees uh, RFP RFP number three um, and even closer to my heart and also very fitting to today's event is RFP number two which is a visual blockchain experience so basically calling all of the artists here, but not only artists, but also people interested in data or maybe the intersection of data and art. That would be the best possible combination. Um, we would love to in some way display uh, in the DEF CON venue um, a blockchain visualization or something that has to do with analyzing what is actually happening on Ethereum and um, dis transform it into art. Uh, there are already amazing initiatives out there that do something like this, for example, based on analyzing the output of the different blocks of Ethereum. Um, some analyze, uh, there's this uh, transaction uh, visualization which uh, compares Bitcoin to Ethereum, which is also really nice. So um, imagine stuff like this, but maybe even more crazy or even more artistic. Um, all of the guys that are interested in yeah, data and uh, then data and art that are really, really welcome to um, to apply. Uh, basically, hand in a dip for this RFP number two, a visual blockchain experience. If you go to the forum and look at this RFP, you can also see that uh, there's a link of the venue as well. So you can already see uh, it's a video um, how the venue in Colombia will look like. And um, maybe that will inspire you to even better think about, OK, where could this artwork fit? How could we display it the best? Um, but in any case, if you have uh, even only a broad idea, um, you can put it in the forum and we can discuss it there further. And yeah, I guess that's it with <laughs> regards to requests for proposals that are currently on the table. But as I said, stay tuned for proposals that are coming up. And um, if I am reaching any artists out there right now, Please also make sure to just post something in the forum or reach out to me individually because uh, we want to display a lot of amazing art there, which does not only need to be focused on uh, data visualization. 
So if you are an artist uh, in the blockchain space, um, feel free to reach out to the DEFCON team because we would love to have um, as much art displayed as possible. That's, uh, that's it from my side. Awesome, awesome, absolutely. Thanks so much, Franzi, thanks, Liggy. So yeah, if you guys wanna contribute or participate, check out forum.devcon.org. Um, so that's where all these RFPs are listed. That's where if you have an idea for DevCon, anything from uh, there should be a meditation space to we want to integrate our project um, at DevCon somehow and dog food, Web3 technology, uh, post the idea on forum.devcon.org. We'd love to hear it. So pass back over to you, Superfiz. Awesome. Um, great job, both of you. Uh, I, Like I said, as someone who hasn't attended DevCon, I've, I've always been the, the jealous bystander. It's, it's really great to get to get a a better view of the whole picture. So, you know, while the road to DevCon wasn't the ideal situation, I think it has a lot of potential to improve access to information for those of us who just didn't make it before. So that's that's pretty awesome. I'm going to make a quick comment. Always. Um, painting, it's not anonymous. Your Ethereum account, the account you have the power of leaks, so for example, we found out uh, that the person doing the Solidity uh, image is Alex Berksassi from the Solidity team. So, so, so uh, if you are vandalizing somebody else's artwork, uh, be mindful that you might be shamed and called out in the future. I love but that. But also let's note, he, did not, he the... did not vandalize anybody. Just no, no. As... no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I love we have the assumption of anonymity and then it's, oh, by the way, <laughs> we actually know who you are. <laughs> so, so for a long time, we wanted to bring anonymity to pop up and, and to make it privacy preserving. Um, but the technology is not there yet. Um, making CK stuff on the Ethereum mainnet is extremely expensive. So, so we have to accept, but, but it is nice. It's nice because when I think about Ethereum 2, Ethereum 2 still doesn't bring privacy preservation on the base layer, but Ethereum 3 might. So, so it, it's like having a carrot for, for tech development. Um, Ethereum 2 is not the end of the game. Uh, native privacy preserving primitives would be something really exciting to have. So, so for the most technical people, um, Ethereum has plenty of places to go before we feel like we have run out of ideas. Um, I'd like to say the mountains coming into the background are absolutely awesome. Um, if people, it's, it's funny because I'm like, I don't know how many of the actual pixel droppers are here with us or if they're in their own little worlds, but um, those mountains coming in are really great. Um, I would It would be great to see those fleshed out. And with that, oh, yeah. um, I want to I want to start with Logic Beach. Um, you did a lot of work connecting with communities and um, kind of giving a, a grander idea to this canvas. Can you talk to us about um, how you connect with communities and how others can get involved? Because we're going to do more of these. Um, how can people, how can they get on this? Uh, <laughs> this was sort of by the seat of my pants. I had, I had tried to organize the Berlin canvas and ultimately I missed it because it was at four in the morning. But this one, I was really focused on just trying to get as many people from as many different communities as I could that wanted to express themselves. Um, in the future, um, I, I, lo I love the idea of, you know, maintaining the role of someone that wants to coordinate uh, different communities to do this together. So uh, <laughs> if anyone wants to get, be involved, obviously they can just jump right in and do their own thing. And that's fine. And that's fine, too. But there's something special when you get a lot of people together to make like a coherent picture. Uh, so uh, I helped people uh, start guilds. Like a few people would approach me and say, hey, we're this, these people from this team, uh, what can we do? And so I'd open, a, I'd start a guild forum in the Discord and they could just like plan and everything. I also, I, I'm an artist myself. So I really enjoy taking people's just images and like scaling them down and making pixel art with them too. So that was actually a lot of fun for me. Um, just like getting to play, uh, I don't know, like commissioned artists, just like to create pixel art, something that I've never really done before. Pixel art was, it's new to me, but I've really enjoyed it. But anyone that wants to get involved in, in any future uh, canvas, 
they can obviously just do it anyways. But if you guys want to plan and I like I'm here to help people like get a guild going, start a plan. I can help you with the art, that sort of thing. Yeah. Great. And I, I, I don't want to suggest that you're the, you're the original artist for this Deva um, image, but you did a great job of uh, interpreting it for pixel art. Uh, so, and I know you went through several iterations. So this, this actually looks really great. I appreciate that. Yeah, I actually looked up um, some tutorials about how to take an image and scale it down without interpolation. So it would stay pixelated. And then I go up and clean them up and make it like nice. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. The, the Devo one worked out really well because it was, I think it was a vector image. It could easily be scaled and look clean no matter what you did. Uh, so <laughs> I actually had to turn it to a PNG and do all this other stuff. But yeah, the art and like the technical side is very fun for me. So I'm having a blast. Great. Uh, Skylar, are we able to give a shout out to the original artist? So Tomo is there actually in the call, I believe. So Tomo, say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So uh, nice yeah, I, I just They're great. Like I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, like everybody has, you know, give us some, give me the feedback to iterate the, the diva. So it's a collaborative thought to make this. Yeah. Thank you. It is. It is a beautiful design. So thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Um, it looks like we're about time. So I won't, I won't steal this thunder. Colfax, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Great question, Fizz. Thanks. Um, so what I'm going to talk about next is an exciting thing that's going to happen here on this call. I don't know if you guys have ever participated in a poap.fun raffle before, but I know many of you probably have. But there are many different features to the POAP platform. So we're using POAP.art right now, which your POAPs make you eligible to participate in the drawing. And POAP.fun raffles are POAP driven raffles where if you have a given POAP, you can actually enter into a raffle. And if you have multiple POAPs that are eligible, you actually increase your odds of winning uh, the raffle. So each, each uh, POAP is kind of like a lottery ticket. So I'm gonna show you guys the two raffles that we're gonna be executing here maybe in about 30 minutes. I'll show you guys how to join them and I'll explain to you the eligibility and the prizes. So let me share my screen here. All right, so I'm gonna close out. I'm gonna stop drawing just for a few minutes. And so we're doing two raffles today. And we'll be pushing the links out uh, soon for these. Actually, you know, why don't we just paste them? Can uh, Sam, can you paste the links that I posted into the chats? So the two raffles we're executing today are going to be raffling off some very exciting prizes. So as we mentioned earlier, we're raffling off some builder discount DevCon tickets. And we're actually gonna also be raffling off the NFT from the painting party that we're doing right now. So we're gonna be minting an NFT of the final canvas and it's gonna be owned by the winner of one of the raffles today. Just something to note, the Poep.art team is busy building lots and lots of features. So actually still working on the NFT minting feature. So that might take a little while, but we'll talk about that a little bit longer, a little bit later. So the two raffles here are the first one is we want to give some recognition to all these contributors in the Ethereum ecosystem. So there's a number of pull-ups that make you eligible for this raffle, one of which is the Genesis Depositor for the Beacon Chain. That's your E2 validators. All previous DevCon pull-ups, so DevCon 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, are all eligible for this raffle. Um, any participants in the Madasha testnet, those pull-ups are eligible, and then also all Ethereum.org contributor POAPs are eligible. And so if you have any of those POAPs, you're gonna to go to poap.fun slash 241, and we'll be sending those links out if we haven't already. And you come here again, um, you'll see, you'll can, it'll ask you to connect your wallet. So you can see my wallet's connected here with my POAPs. And you click here, join raffle. So I'm gonna do that right now. and you just sign again. You're not sending any transaction or anything, you're just signing. And here we go, now I'm in. So you can see 18 people have already signed up. 
and I just have one of the PoApps. Hey, call so, us. And, and when is the draw happening? The draw is going to be happening at the end of this call, so in about 30 minutes. So okay. make sure to sign up right away. Yeah, and, and please, uh, people watching, if you're so kind and help us spreading the message on the channels you are in, if you are in Discord, if you are in YouTube, please let the people around you know that they can sign in on this raffle for, for a heavily discounted ticket and or not a ticket, I'm sorry, for the NFT and, and for a seat on the trivia game. There we go. So I just dropped the links in the YouTube chat. So this is one raffle and that's the eligibility for that. And then the second raffle is very similar prizes. And the eligible PO apps are the two Road to DevCon Quest PO apps. So that's going to be your DevCon survey. If you submitted that, you get a PO app for that. And then also the PO app for this call. So all viewers of the call will be eligible for this PO app. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the prizes here. So as you can see, DevCon trivia game ticket. For those of you who've read more about the Road to DevCon quests, uh, for the person on YouTube, there is a link. It's just not showing up as a hyperlink. So it's the HTTPS poapp.fun slash 242. There we go. Thank you, uh, Ethereum Foundation. So the next quest that's happening is going to happen in six weeks on July 10th. And it's going to be a DevCon trivia game. And the way we're actually going to select the people that are going to participate in the trivia is through this raffle today. And so the top 20 winners of the raffle for each of these two raffles are going to get a DevCon trivia game ticket. And you're actually going to be a participant in the trivia game. So you want to study up on your Ethereum and your DevCon knowledge so you can uh, participate well there. And then the next 15 slots are waitlist slots. So just in case we're not able to reach somebody who won a ticket or if somebody can't make it, you're going to be on the wait list here for these next few slots. So stay tuned as well. Um, Quick note, if you do win the raffle, we'll go over more details later, but it's important that you reach out afterwards. Once the raffle draws, ooh, it looks like a bunch of people have already entered here. Once the raffle draws, you'll get an email address that you'll be able to uh, reach out to us. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But yeah, so just to go over the prizes again, raffle one is the raffle where there's a lot of the Ethereum contributors, past DevCons, POAPs, the number one, prize for that is going to be your NFT from the painting party, a builder discount DevCon ticket, and a Devia, DevCon trivia game ticket. The next two get both the, the discounted DevCon ticket and a DevCon trivia game ticket. And then the next 17 or so get a DevCon trivia game ticket. And the other raffle where the quest PO apps are the eligibility ones, the first three people will be getting their builder discount DevCon ticket, as well as the DevCon trivia game ticket. And then the next 17 will be getting their DEF CON trivia game ticket and then some waitlist slots after that. So I encourage you guys, claim your pops. It looks like so many people are already jumping in here. This is super exciting. Um, and yeah, join the raffles and we'll be drawing them in about 20 to 25 minutes. So, so yeah, enjoy. I'll pass awesome. it back off to Fizz, yeah. Thanks so much, Colfax. Um, and I wanna point out about the timing for this call. Um, it is, it's going to the bottom of the next hour. So we're looking at about um, 46 minutes left. I'm sorry, 36 minutes left. I can't do clock math. Uh, yeah, so one other thing I wanted to point out, let's not forget, um, Deva looks really good, uh, but don't forget that if you contribute to dropping pixels in Deva, uh, you will receive a specific PO app um, and to me, honestly, that would be the the highest prize because you're you're here and you're contributing to the the goal that we all share of making a a beautiful road to DevCon Canvas. So, um, I think I will let Skylar introduce Akil, um, and we'll go from there. Yeah, sounds good. Um, so next up so if you guys remember we, we sent out a, a survey a while back um that was the quest number one and we actually had a significant number of people filled out uh and it wasn't that the shortest survey ever so appreciate everyone who spent the time to do that uh this the insights were actually super valuable and to, to chat about those a little bit and also just to have a little bit more casual conversation here 
Um, Akil, uh, Akil's on the call here, um, part of the DevCon team, uh, user experience designer. Um, so I'll pass it over to him. Thanks, guys. Actually, first time caller, long time listener. So I want to kind of commend all the work that's been done by Fizz and team, Patricio, um, Lamboshi, et cetera. Like I've been watching the community kind of grow and uh, become what it has become. And it's amazing to see the way that you guys operate behind the scenes, how polished it is. Uh, how much work and love kind of goes into it. Um, so it's really interesting, the topic that you kind of raised earlier, uh, Fizz, around getting more people involved in the community and making sure those individuals that don't have the technical background have some sort of representation within DEF CON. So that's something that we've been thinking about a lot. Um, and personally, I came into the Theorem ecosystem because of proof of stake, similar to most of the individuals that might be on this call. Uh, from the stake community. Uh, I was maybe five, six years a little bit too early and without a technical background. So I had to personally navigate those conversations and the community myself. So I wanted to kind of understand um, what does that experience look like nowadays for you guys, um, especially with the great work that you guys are doing. And then what does that experience look like for you personally? And how do you think Staker has kind of maneuvered and improved that experience for individuals coming into the Ethereum ecosystem? Oh, that's so. It's it's funny because I, <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't expecting to be asked a question. Then I was like, oh, he's going to ask me a question. It's it's <laughs> something I like to talk about. Um, I, so, the development of the ETH staker ecosystem has been really serendipitous. Like I think we, we saw the opportunity coming, and we worked hard to ramp up quickly for. Um, a lot of new users who we knew would be interested in staking. And we wanted to set the bar low. We wanted to be welcoming first and knowledgeable second, because um, like it can be really overwhelming. And even if you have a lot of technical background, walking into this ecosystem and, and just hitting the ground running is, is nearly impossible. You've got to have somebody to kind of help you get in. Um, and so we wanted to fill that void. And it really worked out, especially with solo staking. I I like to believe that eStaker significantly increased the proportion of solo stakers. Um, and there's no data to support that. All I can do is, is go based on my gut feeling. But I'm really proud of that perception that, that we did increase um, a lot of um, solo staking. And where we're at now is a, a really interesting transition. And I, I don't talk about this a lot publicly, uh, but we're in this transition where people who are going to solo stake have, and the people now who are interested in staking um, maybe don't have 32 ether. And as, as a community organizer, I'm not really confident or comfortable um, promoting the staking solutions, the, pooled staking solutions are, that are available. And I'm not comfortable pr promoting the exchange-based staking. And so we're in this kind of, um, I hate to say, but it's a limbo of waiting for a staking solution that is really community-based um, rather than lining the pockets of a third party. Uh, and, and so my hope is that we can uh, sort of, I don't want to say starve them out, but I, I want to urge the community to wait until someone steps up with that solution and then go in with pooled staking um, or, or whatever solution they present. And anyone who knows me knows that, you know, I, I have my eye on something and I sure as heck hope it works out. Um, but yeah, that's where we are right now. It, it is a little bit of a tough spot because I never like to be just for sure. waiting for something, but um, I'm very happy with where we are and I'm very happy with the support we've provided to the community. So do you see any more opportunities as far as like you mentioned being or feeling a little bit uh, hesitant towards attending DEF CON, are there certain opportunities or ways we could improve that uh, or remove that hesitation? It is somewhat of a developer conference as a position, but there is opportunity for other sides of the community that are crucial for the decentralized nature of what we're doing to be a part of that conversation at some point. What do you think could be done to kind of improve that conversation? Um. You know, I'm, I, it's not it's not my style to, like, I don't have any critique for DevCon. The what I know about DevCon, I you know, I almost put it on a, a pedestal. I think a lot of us put it on a pedestal. It's like this this top notch production, um, 
And I think for me, it, it may be that, that intimidation of um, just going and not knowing how to fit in. Uh, after, you know, at this point, I have a lot of friends who I know would be there. Um, but a lot of it, I think, for the new people is not knowing if they'll have somebody to connect with there. Will there be a place for me to go where I fit in? Or will I be the guy who's sitting in the corner on his laptop, like messaging my friends at home because I, I don't know how I ended up here? Um, so I, I think helping individuals find a comfort, a comfortable spot or maybe their own click when they're there if they don't come with the group uh, would be a neat way to uh, help more people feel comfortable. I think that's kind of been the aim with the quests and the, the forums and the Discord community and the other efforts that have been kind of going on with the road to DEF CON is finding or allowing people to find that core community to kind of latch into as we progress towards the event. Uh, so you mentioned a little bit about you messaging your friends or I, maybe someone else on the call wants to share once they got like fully engaged with the Ethereum community, how did they describe Ethereum to their family and friends in the first place? Or why they're on a Saturday call painting pixels um, with strangers from all over around the world. How does that fit in with the ethos of the community? What does that mean for you and your your future plans, et cetera? Yeah, this is Victor. Uh, I, I can speak to this actually. Um, one thing that I really like about Ethereum and, and that I love about DEF CON specifically um, is that you can make friends so easily by just knowing one person at a time. Like if you just get to know one person, not even like best friends with them or anything, just like you spot them out in a crowd, um, just go and hang out with the group that they're in, right? And then become friends with those people. Um, you don't have to try very hard, just talk to them. And if you like them, get their Telegram or their Discord or any other way to reach them. Um, and then later that day, when you're hanging out, text them and be like, hey, what are you up to? Do you wanna hang out? And then go hang out with them and then get to know their friends. And then just keep going and going. And you know, you're not, you're not networking, you're not trying to get ahead, you're not trying to like spot an opportunity or get anything from people. Like your only job and the only thing you should be trying to do is just like be yourself and hang out and try to have a good time and find the people that you like. Um, and then just just build on that. Um, and I've been doing that for the last couple of years that I've been around in, in crypto and in Ethereum specifically. And now like when I go to DEF CON, I go and just see see all my friends that I haven't seen from around the world for the entirety of the previous year. So it is a lovely, lovely experience. Um, and it's worked really well for me. Agreed. And I feel like a lot of the individuals in the ecosystem are connectors. So like personally, I got uh, connected through the few key individuals like Robbie Bent and uh, Josh Stark, et cetera, that were core part of the Toronto community, et cetera. But those were like very key connectors in the community. Similarly, I feel like now FaZe has probably become a connector to anyone that's coming into the ecosystem with each staker. And then Patricio, obviously, with his pull app connection and so forth. So like understanding who are the connectors and connecting with them in some manner and making sure that you get out the and the fact that you're interested in doing something. So even like I believe Logic Beach is probably somewhat new to the ecosystem and he's taken up quite a bit of a responsibility for this event. So the opportunities really exist for you to make the most out of it. It's just putting yourself out there. Um, I kind of hand it over to Skylar to talk a little bit more about DEF CON and any questions anyone might have. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Akil. Um, and one thing I also note with, with regards to Superface's comments about, um, about coming in and attending DEF CON alone. So the way I actually got introduced to the community and my first DEF CON was I volunteered as a volunteer. Um, and this was at DevCon three back when we had only fifteen or so volunteers. But at the last at the last DevCon, we had I think around a hundred some volunteers, uh, and it was a, a great community uh, of, of people. So I I came. So I think if you are to come alone and you're looking for friends and you're looking to have a good time, volunteering at DevCon is an awesome opportunity to do so. Um, and uh, well, we haven't released any details on how to do that yet. They will be coming out, uh, so keep an eye on the on the Twitter, Diva Twitter, and on the blog. But uh, but it's a pretty cool way to automatically come to DevCon and have a community right from the start. Um, and uh, and yeah, I guess like I, I don't know how much time we have left in this 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 part here, but I wanted to open up to just any questions about um, about DevCon. If people here on the call have 
have uh, have questions regarding I don't know sort of like a little mini ask me anything ask us anything um, about DevCon we're happy to happy to answer it here and uh, provide some clarity. Yeah, I have some housekeeping info. Um, the Canvas will run for fifteen minutes. There, from there, we go to the raffles. If you haven't checked the raffles, please do because you need to sign it into them. And uh, the prices are called. The raffle links have been posted on the announcement channel on Discord. And um, there's been 95,000 pixels placed already. So, so um, stay tuned for the finish line. Right on, right on. We're almost there. It's coming together. It's looking good, the canvas. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe a question that we get a lot, obviously, is when DevCon. So I answered that at the beginning, but uh, I'll, I'll re rephrase this right now, reemphasize it, and the answer is we don't know. Um, we're staying optimistic on the team that potentially something's possible before the end of the year. If not, we're looking at next year. Um, we are monitoring the global situation, obviously. And one of the cool things about the conference is how global our community community is. Uh, and uh, one of the hardest things about planning the conference right now is how global our community is. So it doesn't make it any easier. Um, but there are some conferences that are happening that are taking place, other community conferences that are taking place between now and um, uh, and later this year, including ECC, which I think is scheduled to happen in July 20th in Paris. Um, so that's planning to happen. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll see some of you folks there and hopefully that goes off without a hitch. Um, but if some of these other conferences and events can happen without, without problems, we, we would look more optimistically towards DevCon happening sooner than later. But uh, it will happen at some point, no doubt. Um, anyone else on the call have questions about DevCon that we can answer? Any, anything? Um, any burning questions? If not, I can talk about some other stuff. Have you placed a pixel, Skylar? I have placed a pixel. I placed a couple on on Diva. Then I intended to start drawing something else and realized I was going to run out of space quick, and so I erased it. <laughs> <laughs> so something interesting that we're trying out this year, hopefully, with the online presence is Web3 integration. Um, so we're looking for ideas on how to leverage that and maybe apps are a part of that. So the more apps you collect on the road to DEF CON, perhaps there's some benefits that you'll uh, get within the actual experience and so forth. But it was interesting when we did put out the user survey uh, around how many people are using Web3 technologies on a day-to-day -day basis, which weren't uh, financial use cases. And we got a, a the results that it was quite high. So I don't know what community that was, but I'm curious to hear what people are using Web3 for on a day-to-day -day basis within the community, um, just to kind of understand where those results came from. Because personally, I'm not using it on a day-to-day -day basis. So curious, what, what are you guys doing? Um, come live in one of the is... and, and you will need it. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Come live to Buenos Aires, and and you will need it to use cryptocurrencies for your financial needs. Yeah. So other than like the non-financial applications, are you guys using any DApps on a regular basis? And what do those look like usually? Well, I can tell you that there are three hundred twenty-four people using Coapart. Yeah, That's I what think I was going to say. My my that. primary. Go ahead. Uh, connected not to, only to pop art, but I think one thing that is just incredibly useful is ENS domain. So now you could obviously also log into pop up um, using your ENS uh, an address that is connected to ENS. So now when I uh, put a pixel on the canvas, I actually see uh, francy.eth and not some uh, arbitrary <laughs> um, address, which is nice. So uh, and also connecting the ENS domain to an actual domain is, I think, an amazing way to and then host this on IPFS. That's what I basically learned uh, in the last year of my job, uh, how to host uh, websites not only on uh, Web2, but basically using IPFS and uh, ENS domains, how to yeah, basically decentralize um, your web presence a bit further. It's still a bit uh, unpleasant if you want to update regularly, but other than that, it's quite an, a cool opportunity that I use. I wanted to say, you know, I talk, it's weird. I, I admit that I'm obsessed with some things. I'm obsessed with Poet, 
um, and I, I talk about it all the time, but it is a great non-financial use for Ethereum. And I, I think it's it's probably, um, I don't think it's before its time. I think it's at the right time. And I think it has the potential to expand to a lot of different use cases. Um, and it's, it's, I was actually thinking to myself last night, like, why do I participate in POEP so much? Is it is it because of the the idea that maybe it's eventually going to be tied to some kind of airdrop, and if I get enough POAPs, then I'll be on the airdrop? But it's it's not really that. It is just this neat concept of um, documenting my history with Ethereum in a way that was never possible before, which I, I just I find that really neat. Like I can scroll back through my my poep collection and know what i was doing a month ago or a week ago um and so i really feel like that use case is, is just going to continue to to grow and grow so i i don't know of another non-financial use case for ethereum that is as well developed as poep is has anyone been participating in any of the newer games or uh any new solutions that have kind of come out? I want to mention this. I saw you super fizz coming up, but I, I feel like you were going to probably mention dark forest. <laughs> I love dark forest. I, on the, uh, they released their version 0.05 uh, a few months back and I got so into it. I didn't do anything for a week and I actually had to refrain from playing version 0.06 that they just released a week ago. Cause I really wanted to be involved with this canvas. And I knew if I got, if I got onto my dark forest, uh, playing like I, I wouldn't do anything else it's a great game it's a it's a non-financial application I, I believe it's uh it's built on ethereum and it's on the xdi network it's it's fantastic it's incredibly <laughs> addictive i had yeah. to give away my invite keys this time as well <laughs> because last time i couldn't do anything for a week so yeah but it's i can also recommend it and the aesthetics are extremely nice as well yeah, and I do want to mention that also my computer couldn't do anything else for a week because to get the map, you basically are hashing uh, pixels and it does a, it uses your GPU like all the way maxed out. At least that's what I, I did. It's a lot of fun. It's it's fun on multi, like it's multifaceted fun. It, it makes, <laughs> the fact that it's on blockchain, like you couldn't do what's happening on the game without blockchain. And so it's super cool. It's, there's so much to it. The team has done a great job. Yeah, that's I, I was I was in the dark forest black hole from December, January, and February of this year. And I I know that my team was like, Where is he? What are you doing? And I'm like, leave me alone. I'm doing something important. Um but yeah, it's it's a great thing. I just realized I have a key that I'd like to give away. Um and so if you want to check out poep.fun after um after this call, I will raffle a uh dark forest key there. Um that should be a little fun. Um so I think we are, oh, I'm, nothing makes me happier on these canvases than to see the Ethereum logo, like never forgetting why we're here. I don't know, uh, that was very religious. Um, so I think Colfax is gonna talk now about the raffle. Oh yeah, it's that time guys. So let's see here. I'm gonna bring up the raffles and we're gonna start drawing them very soon. How many did each sign up? Let's see. Just one second here. I feel like once again, so we, like, like in Berlin, we got the timing right because the canvas was starting to get too crowded and it's finishing in six minutes. So, so, so yep. pretty cool. So raffle one, we have 180 poaps that are signed up and raffle two, we have 257. Interesting. Great. So why don't we trigger uh, the drawing? What do you say? Should we do one after another? Or should we draw them both at the same time? Uh, so, so I my personal desire is that we wait until the canvas finishes because I'm protecting my staff and Perfect. I couldn't watch the draws. <laughs> Sounds good. So like the, this is this is quite a stressful. Um, yeah. It certainly is. Uh, I'm not well, why do we say field. five uh, more minutes for the canvas? Yeah, I think it's four now. No, six. Sorry. Six. Perfect. So then I'm going to have the raffle start triggering right when that happens. So that's going to okay. be 
at uh, 20 minutes after the hour. Correct. And, and could you explain how the ruffle finds uh, random numbers, which is something that you all wonder about? I will. It's so cool. I'll explain that in just a second. While, while he's setting that up, um, Lodge Beach, can you, can you shout out any of the guilds that you feel like have really stepped up today? Yeah, I wonder if I can remember most of them by name. Uh, yeah, giant shout out to the DevCon group. Making Dev happen was kind of the goal for me. Uh, like, I really wanted to see that happen. So great job, guys. That looks fantastic. It looks exactly like the Photoshop image that I put up. So uh, nifty.inc, <laughs> I love that group. They did they did exactly what they set out to do. I, I don't know about the red balloon. I guess you couldn't make it. Um, but this yellow balloon eating a crayon, uh, it gives me a good laugh every time. Uh, I like what reality cards did. You're, I don't know if you guys were behind the color of that, but that is cool. Uh, the Daily Gway, yeah, uh, he he actually looks a little bit different than I expected. And he, his eyes are open. <laughs> Good job, that looks neat. Um, La Pandia did exactly what they said they were going to do, which is border the entire thing in a the blue flag. Is that the flag of Colombia? Argentina. Argentina, right on. That's a. Uh, my vexology is is poor. I wasn't sure which flag it was. Um, who else How do, do you I know see? That it's called vexology. I love that. <laughs> There's a subreddit called vexology. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the mountains are great. Um, Landscape Guild. I think if they if they had more human power behind this, they could have really done. A, uh, I mean, I love the mountains and I love the shading. I was trying to help with that. Like, I want to see that happen on a canvas. Like, that needs to happen. Like the entire wash of mountains and like a sky and stuff. It looks fantastic, guys. I'm trying to see you guys. Guys. whoever did Bender. I'm a huge Futurama fan, so kudos to you. <laughs> yeah, the artwork looks incredible. The canvas this time is four times the size of the one from Berlin. And we've done such a good job filling it up. I mean, it's it's really beautiful, I have to say. Yeah, and somebody's uh, got Rainbow Road going. Uh, I don't. I think, who, who is helping me draw Super Fizz? I see a Chris Garner was helping me draw the super fizz. Uh, someone um, that hasn't gotten a shout out, and it was a fundamental member of this endeavor, it's uh, Rami Rond. Uh, Rami Rond has developed oh. uh, the painting bot we most uh, most are using. Was that bot active in this canvas? I guess I didn't use it, um, but oh, that, well, uh, the work uh, that he did on that bot was fantastic. I, I played with it a little bit, and it works exactly like you'd expect. Did people use it? Can we tell what used what used the bot and what didn't? I'm curious. Um, so you paste an image, and the bot creates a sequence of all the pixels you need to paint for that image to be displayed as far as possible. And and that I think is what La Pandisha is using. Um, I don't think they have placed all those pixels one by one. That I placed so all cool. my pixels one by one. What have and... you drawn, Mariana? <laughs> I helped. Uh, I helped with the with the flag. Okay. Mostly. Uh, have you placed one on Diva so you get the Diva Painter pop up? I did. <laughs> uh, I hope it stays. So I also deleted somebody else's pixel and painted. Oh, I, I've done own. the same. Okay. <laughs> so oh, cool. I just hope nobody does that to my single pixel <laughs> well, um, well uh, i've done it like in five places just in case my friend here I, is uh collecting names that helped with deva as the as it happened like she's not doing it after the fact so even if you placed it and it was covered up there's a chance she got it although think about it it's hundreds of pixels she had to go and collect addresses from so we'll see how uh, accurate we are uh, we are closing in one minute i, I yes. would like to uh we mentioned Rami Rond, and I want to bring that up because even when the, the raffle starts, it'll still take a few moments for it to launch. Um, Rami Rond not only created the the POAP automated graffiti tool, graffiti tool, graffiti tool, but he also um, developed a um, POAP or I'm sorry, a graffiti wall tool that you find on um, Beacon Chain, uh, and so. We'd love for you to give that a try. That's all developed by Steakhouse, which is the Eat Staker development branch that is led by Colfax. Um, and he's going to now hop into the raffle. 
Awesome. Yeah. I, again, shout out Remy Ron. He's doing some awesome work with, with art. So, um, uh, it's that the raffle has started. The raffle has started guys. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Now I'm going to talk to you about a little bit about the mechanics of how the raffle works. So you guys can see here again, all these participating PO apps here, each one of them has a number associated with them. It's like this one, for example, is 279054. Um, each one of them has a number. Now, the cool part here is it's basically an elimination over time of POAPs getting eliminated from the drawing. And what is happening is you can see here the gas limit of each Ethereum block that passes by. The, the last digit of this gas limit is uh, going to eliminate the POAPs that have that as their last digit. And so as so pull-ups are probably being eliminated here as we go. So leaderboard will climb all the way up from last place all the way. Oh, sorry, Chris Gardner. Um, <laughs> oh, I see some familiar fits here. Super Fizz is already eliminated. It looks like a few different uh, filled out of the there. Uh, so people are getting eliminated as the last number in their PO app matches the last number in the gas limit uh, for each Ethereum block that passes by. So it's a very cool way to like have decentralized randomness, so to speak, to sort of select who is going to win this this uh, this raffle. And as you can imagine, eventually, all of the PO apps are going to have the same last number. And when that happens, we're going to move on to the next digit over in the PO app IDs. So. How are your PO apps doing, Colfax? I have four in one and two in the other one yet. Let's see here. I think I. So I have two, I have one in raffle one and I have two in raffle two. I wonder if I'm still standing. Let me see. Now I have one on one and three on the other one. And something else that's pretty cool. So we can actually try and identify who's remaining I think I'm out in both of them because it doesn't look like I'm here, but you can click on the PO app and you can view their PO app collection. And we can try and see who these, uh, try and guess who these people are based on their PO app collection. Okay, so I'm gonna be the goofball here. Um, I can't remember the prizes for really, I just want to know what I'm going to win. Cause I'm going to win the first one. Um, all good. <laughs> so I'll review the prizes. So in raffle one, the number one winner is going to actually get the NFT mint of the canvas that we drew today. They will also get an Ethereum a builder discount DevCon ticket and a ticket to the DevCon trivia coming up in six weeks. The next two people will get their dev discounted DevCon ticket as well as a trivia seat. And then the next 17 people will get trivia seats. And then after that, we have some waitlist trivia seats just in case we uh, we need to call on those people. Now, the awesome. Raffle I, 2 is I miss very similar. Games. Those are so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, raffle 2 is very similar, except we're not uh, minting off the NFT or raffling off the NFT for Raffle 2. That's going to be in Raffle 1. Um, as something to mention while we wait, uh, Mariano Conti has been the account that plays the most pixels, um, has placed 2,800, and hasn't been using a bot. <laughs> wow, that's very impressive. I take this painting parties very seriously. I can see that. <laughs> you apparently and take everything. How are you doing on the, on the ruffles? Are you still running? Uh, let me see. I have three on raffle one. I have two on that one. And I and I have one on the second. I do so too. And and on the second there's a still ninety four. And on the first one there's fifty seven. Uh one nice thing when we move to Ethereum two, um, is that we will know how long this will take because the block times are deterministic. 
but we still won't know how long uh, we all know because the exclusions are still random like you can have right. multiple exclusions for the same thing that don't remove one uh, good point true true oh so i'm out on the second one that's too bad my remaining poep on the first raffle is the only poep that I ever purchased, which is my DevCon 4 poep. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I bought one. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, so in raffle one, you can see here we already have some prizes coming through. So Nanex, Nanex cool That's me. has the first, hey, hey, has the first uh, DevCon trivia game ticket waitlist. Oh, sweet. So congratulations. Hopefully, uh, well, I guess hopefully many people are excited about trivia and they claim their tickets. But if not, there's a chance you might be able to to join on the trivia game. So yeah, if you haven't seen these trivia games, they're kind of a staple in the East Sacred community, and they're quite a lot of fun. So that's going to be July 10th at the same time, 6 p.m. UTC. So stay tuned for more details on that. There's details in the posts about the quests. It's going to be quest number three, and we're really excited to to help host that as well. Um, how many on the leaderboard on the right will get prices? The first 50? The first, I think it's 45. OK. Sorry, 35 people, the top 35. So now everybody remaining in raffle one will get at least a prize, one of the, the at least a wait waitlist ticket prize or an actual ticket to, to trivia. Uh, so something else to share while we wait. Um, all these products in the POA ecosystem, POA part, POA fan, um, and others, uh, they are open source. Anyone in the community can use them. We are always looking for new fun use cases. So if you run communities in your city, or, or if you think that this could be useful in your school or elsewhere, um, reach out to us and we will help you uh, get you set up. It's funny you say in your school because my fantasy is that like a school ends up using POAP as an attendance token. Um, uh, anyway, well, I, I can tell you people are using POAP from the MIT to Stanford um, from cost to cost. Bye, Franzi. Thank you for coming today. Bye. Have fun. I, um, have your ruffles installed, Colfax? I don't know what's going on. Last digit eight. Let me refresh the page. Is out. I, I saw the same view. Oh, no, it did load eventually. All right, cool. Yeah, it all. Has something broken? No, it did load eventually. Yeah. For a second, I thought I was still in the in the game, and I got really <laughs> excited. <laughs> but unfortunately not. All right, it looks like my screen might have been a little frozen. So we've been drawing oh. uh, these winners. This is amazing. So guys, on raffle one, we're starting to pass out the DevCon trivia game tickets. Um, Martin Tell has got one. Who's Martin Tell, super fizz, you got a ticket. Did I? Holy crap. I was like, oh, I've been outed. Well, I, I, I mean, know. if super fizz got a ticket, that means we will go through the wait list because he we can will, play. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll it happened to me the wait list. I'm on the wait list and I think I'm going to win. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, James Carley got a ticket. Good. Wow. Good, good. And I, I wonder yeah, who I... will get the NFT. I got a oh, uh, wait list, but I've written all the questions, so. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is I have a DEF CON trivia ticket, and I know the guy who wrote the questions. Hey, uh, quick question about the second uh, raffle. If I had two PO apps, do they both play, or does it just choose one of them? Um, they both we, play. Yeah, but if both of you win, uh, we go through the wait list. Of course. Yep. It looks like me and my wife are still in the top 35 for uh, the second raffle, so that's cool. <laughs> I think, I think. 
I, I, I control F and look for uh, Logic Beach, and I only found one so far. <laughs> so something else. Oh, a programming just... note. Um, I'm sorry, something... I want to update everybody on the big picture. Uh, so it's 2.30, and we were going to end the call. Um, the plan right now is just to give the uh, POEP drawing enough time to complete, and then Skylar and I will wrap up. And so if you're just hanging out for that, um, we will be respectful of your time and should finish in five or six minutes. Um, people have been cool. wondering how to get the pixel dropper pull up. Um, that's going to be announced on the Road to DevCon Discord. So stay tuned to it and, and you will get instructions. Sounds good. One more note of logistics. We're going to go, once the raffle finishes drawing, we'll do a demo of this. But if you are a winner of a DevCon trivia game ticket, or a wait list, uh, you please reach out to us so we can start coordinating the DevCon trivia game. At the end of the raffle, there will be an email address that pops out. It'll say contact the organizer, click there, and there's an email. And what you're gonna need to do in order to verify that you own the address, you need to sign a message with that key and then just send that message to the email. So we'll do a demo of that once it draws, but in case you need to drop off now, circle back to the raffle at the end if you're a winner and make sure to email us because that's the only way we're going to be able to get in touch with you to plan the event hey nolan are these you said you wrote the questions for the trivia are these questions that i know already uh if you looked at the google sheets document i think do i have access to it i definitely posted the link one time okay that's fine. I was, I was actually hoping to play, but if there's any chance that I could have seen him, it wouldn't be fair. Well, I mean, if you haven't seen it, I'd, I'd take your word for it. I trust you and you trust me, but there are probably a, a couple hundred other people <laughs> who would be upset if it yeah, I don't. Know, went south. <laughs> I, guess I did don't. see the questions. There are some very good questions. So great job, Nolan, but I definitely can't participate. Uh, have you guys seen yeah, some sure. controversial questions like we like doing? There's there's one or two. Let's see, what's I think the range of topics that, that these questions cover? Are we allowed to know, to know that in advance, or just like anything to do with Ethereum, it's different community stuff, technicals on different DApps, and you know a whole all manner of stuff. Cool, cool, right on. So you, you don't need to have attended a DevCon before necessarily to know the answer to these questions. No, no, no. If, if you've just been on crypto Twitter and Reddit and been using Ethereum, you should do well. Nice. So what he's saying is if you spend 24 seven on crypto Twitter, you uh, that's, uh, I'm thinking uh, Mariano is going to be in the game. He will, he'll rack up. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're down to the last couple apps um, and don't anyone let me forget that I want to give Mona Mesa a chance to uh, close. He'll have the final word after I say goodbye and then uh, Michael, we can cut the stream after uh, Mona Mesa has his, his opportunity. Sounds good. I haven't heard much from you, Michael. How are you today? Great. Just happy to be mm -hmm. here. He must have been shuffling <laughs> the screens and making sure that everything works. Exactly. No, I say I haven't heard much from you. You've been I've been staring at your screen the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you've been doing a great job in Vetica uh, with all the logistics. Everything's going smoothly. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, Eve Sticker is a really great team. Um, in fact, same with Poap, um, same with DevCon. If if you're looking to contribute anywhere, um, we're always always willing to help people find a place to be successful. So um, yeah, I will it say it may just, not be quick. Yeah, just to expand Go. on that, it was probably the point you're you're just about to make where, uh, you know, just a quick shill for not just East Acre community, but I would say all communities within the Ethereum ecosphere is that uh, you, don't, you don't have to be a technical user. You know, I, I have a passion for uh, like the web two things and helping with organizing and, and things of that nature, there are roles for you in any capacity. Um, so d don't be shy to sort of peek into some of these communities and try it out. Uh, you don't necessarily have to know 
the the nuts and bolts of the protocol. Uh, there's still definitely a need for uh, organizers and people who are just generally curious to to lend a different perspective uh, than than what we know uh, today. So uh, go out there and join some communities. I'm still so in the. Uh, we are raffle. down to two on one of the raffles. And those are good ones because the res resuscitator and Madasha Tesna, those were both uh, challenging to earn. You had to actually. Yeah, and and like... the third one, uh, the first builder ticket was won by someone whose ENS is Ethereum developer. So DDH. So. Sounds like somebody well who's likely to use it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's yeah. See. Again, sorry, Patricia. Yeah, I, I wanted you to open the tab to see who they are. Yeah, so this is one person. Let me open up. Ah, very active. Who they are? Let's see. This is one of the people that's remaining. It's still loading. Oh, whoever he is, he has many. Yeah. Um, he's been on the Ave community call. He's been using POAP art a lot. He has many uh, POAP art tokens. Has been to Ethereum. So, so this is a hardcore pop collector. I, I'm glad he's winning. Great. Oh, they were on the Berlin upgrade party. That's great. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, he wins the NFT. Actually, is is this roughly yeah. for the NFT? This is for the NFT. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what about the other account? I can't remember which one I clicked on. So I'm gonna open up <laughs> both. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you by the collection. Yeah. And on the other one, um, just two we are down to two again. Wow. Hey, um, I need to ask, this is actually an important question. Um, do the people who won these tickets to trivia, are they able to transfer those to another person or are they, are, well, are, are they required to be the person with the signing key? Um, that's on a or do we want to talk about that? But I think they are given a discount code. So, so it's not fair at all. Okay. Yeah, so I and so was I asking about questions i think but quick quick note about the devcon tickets themselves are you are given a discount to buy the ticket when we go on sale of tickets of course which is yet to uh yet to come through but for the trivia quotes um for the trivia tickets i'm not sure the answer there okay i i have allowed them to be transferable but uh we'll work it out and i just know the people who are watching are going to be a bit curious i actually won two trivia tickets and they're probably not going to let me play um <laughs> anyway I I... it's fine uh, yeah. I would say so, in the interest of inclusivity, if you did win a ticket and you can't make it and you know somebody that would have fun, then feel free to invite <laughs> them. And if you don't want to, then we'll go into the wait list because there are many interested people on the wait list. So um, as you know, here idea. with East Taker and DEF CON, we're very welcoming and very easy going. We want everyone to have fun. So if you know somebody that would have fun, definitely pass that along. I actually saw someone last time uh, attach the uh, the trivia ticket to an nft and sell it at at i think rareable or open c it was kind of a really neat experience uh, oh and logic beach provided the art for that it was a cool thing I did um, i remember that that was fun so y'all we developed a really awesome canvas we learned a lot about devcon uh we had a fun raffle and we got to hang out for a while um, i'm so delighted to have spent some time working with the devcon and poet folks um it was a good day uh, I'm glad everyone joined us. And um, Skylar, do you have any thoughts? One quick uh, thing before you wrap it up, Skylar. This is the button yeah. that I was talking about, contact raffle organizer. And since we're short on time, Michael, maybe can we release a video of signing? Uh, yep, I will do that and get it posted right away for winners. We'll do that afterwards. So you, all you do is click this button, and then you can send an email over to the Ethereum, the organizer, which is e2stc at gmail.com. So if you are one of the top 35 winners, definitely reach out. All right, now off to you, Skylar. Right on, right on. Uh, yeah. So the first thing I was going to say was uh, is big thanks to to you guys, East Taker and and the Poap team, uh, for proposing this idea initially, and then helping us put this on. I think it's been it's been really fun. I'm super impressed with the canvas we came up with. And uh, the second thing is just, um, yeah, if anyone has ideas or questions about DevCon, um, submit them in the forum, forum.devcon.org. Uh, stay active in the, the chats. And 
looking forward to seeing everyone at the uh, the trivia game next, which um, maybe it was mentioned here, but I'll reemphasize it. Uh, everyone can participate and watch uh, from the YouTube live stream. The tickets are just for those who are going to be joining us in the uh, in the in the Zoom call. Is that that's correct, uh, Colfax? Yes, that's correct. So anybody, even if you didn't win a ticket, you can definitely tune in and participate in the quest. You'll still get your PO app for participating in the quest by watching. Uh, and the tickets are just for the participants that'll be on the Zoom call answering the questions. Cool, perfect. So that's on July what twelfth, right? Looking forward to seeing you guys all there. July 10th, I believe. It's Saturday, oh, okay. six weeks from now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, that's all I had. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everyone coming. Uh, so let's hand it off, I guess, to uh, uh, Mono Mesa. Yeah. <laughs> so we hear from the Ethereum community, well, in Colombia, the Ethereum Colombia community are really excited to have everything and all of you guys from uh, the Ethereum ecosystem to come here and, yeah, share with us uh all, all this crazy stuff that is happening and please come to colombia and yeah we hope you see you here with a really good and nice cup of coffee so cheers guys <laughs> perfecto nos vemos allá <laughs> <laughs> Salud. thank you everyone for being part of this bye bye awesome thanks all Talk bye, bye. bye everybody bye bye thank you everyone